Alright guys, um, this is going to be very quick. Uh, you would have had to watch our other video, um, how I did side loading of Android apps on the C-Line 6. Now it is quite similar, but it's more simple on the Shark. So, you probably only need um, kind of like a laptop and obviously your Shark and, an ac and like a Wi-Fi access point. Now it can be, um, it can be like a a Wi-Fi that you might have, um, like your, your personal hotspot on your phone. I've just gone ahead and um, made an access point here at home that we can use for testing. So, or for an action EV, that could be anything that you've got at home. Uh, you just need to connect to the Wi-Fi on your Shark and grab your IP address because that's that's something you'll need so you can get the, the laptop to talk to your car. That'll be any sort of numbers, but just keep that in mind. Um, and then... If you've watched the C-Line 6 side loading video, you'll also already know how to kind of um, ADB connect to the IP address that um, that you see there. Now, mine already says I'm connected to it because I've already I've already obviously done this, and um, but it will basically say that you've been connected. Now, if you don't get this, it's because ADB wireless isn't enabled on your Shark, which is probably going to be the default. Um, the default setting. Now I spent ages trying to go um, in the settings to try and figure out how to do this. Um, I've noticed with the BYD stuff, they have like all these secret little debug modes, stuff you can test on your car and do all sorts of stuff that you probably shouldn't do. Um, and the, there's just hidden buttons generally everywhere so you can calibrate and adjust and do all sorts of small things one thing i did i was trying to figure out is how do i enable wireless adb because it's basically an android system and i realized um after ch uh, browsing around to these chinese websites that it's actually what you need to do is actually hit the factory reset word probably about 10 times and then turn your screen so it's actually portrait and then these buttons appear uh, when you press this once that tur that turns on and off um, wireless ADB. So see, I just actually turned it off because it was on. If I go and connect to it now, you see how it says connections refused. But if I go and turn on wireless ADB, you'll say t um, ADB debugging is on, and you connect to it, you basically um, are now connected to it. So it's once you've connected to the car through wireless ADB through a client on your laptop. Um, and again, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, this is explained in my BYD C-Line 6 side load. So you need to watch that to get to the point where you're at this window. And as long as you know how to basically enter wireless ADB on the shark side and you're connected, the rest of the C-Line 6 video is pretty much identical. So I'll just do an example here. Um, ADB install YouTube. This is just a file that I've downloaded for the APK, uh, APK file. And you just start... Um, performing a remote install this will basically send the file from the laptop to the shark and install it in the background um, don't panic if it says it's completed install and you're here and it doesn't appear here totally because you got this window open just hit done and then open this back up and it'll appear this is just the uh this is just the way that all this works that i've kind of figured out once you've got the apps installed um it's not a very complicated process, so you can actually, you can actually um, install Google services as well on here. Now, I do everything through Gbox, because basically Gbox um, gives us kind of like a, um, like a hidden suite that we can run apps inside. Yep, so now you can see it says here, performing stream install, and it's a success. Like I said before, you can't actually see it here. But that's fine. If you close it here and then reopen this, you'll see YouTube's there. Now your next problem is if you just open this, uh, if you just add this, sorry, and open it, it's likely that it's not going to work. It's going to give you a weird error that says YouTube services not found, blah -de blah Now you can install YouTube services on this, but I've found the best way is to actually um, also download the Gbox, sorry, sorry, install the Gbox app. So you can install this app the same way um, that 
you basically install um, YouTube, it would be ADB install Gbox. Uh, there we go, Gbox. So it'd be like ADB install Gbox and whatever version file you have. The APK. If I install that, it, I would I would have thought it would complain that it's already installed, but apparently not. Um, you, when you install Gbox, basically it installs um, this this little shell here. So you can go ahead and um, open Gbox and then clone app. So to make this to understand simply, you need to have the Android app installed on the Shark, and then inside Gbox you just come in and you clone the app. So there's YouTube, hit clone. It'll actually copy the APK, APK file into Gbox, which is what you want, because Gbox basically add, acts as like, a, um, like an application that pretends to be a tablet or a phone device. So full services support it, uh, are supported. Now, you can't install this, so I wouldn't bother with this. Um, the other thing you can do once you've got it in Gbox is you can actually just go ahead and remove YouTube um, completely because you don't actually need YouTube once it's in Gbox. It's basically copied inside. And then you open you, you YouTube from inside the Gbox app. Now, this is the best way. Uh, I don't know if there is another way. This is the only thing I've figured out so far. So by doing this, you basically have access to YouTube. Um, it's not, it, it doesn't talk to the car, so the car doesn't know if you're in drive or reverse or whatever. It works all the time, anytime you want. Um, yeah, you play a video, it's going to, it's going to play a video. You can, you can go full screen. You can even toggle it to be around other windows. You can pretty much do everything you normally would, including comment and do, all, you know, do everything. This doesn't really, um, this doesn't really talk to the car. So the car, it, like the apps don't know if you're driving or you're parked or whatever. So it'll work all the time. Um, it's great for Waze. So like I will probably install Waze on here, like I've done on the C-Line 6. You can, um, you can also... You can also, uh, background play is on with YouTube Premises. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, you can also install Google services. Now, I haven't tested all this because I had someone in the comment yesterday asking about this as a feature they wanted me to upload a video about. So I tried figuring this all out just so I can get a video. But what you can do, you can actually um, load up your Play, your Play Store because you'll have to log in. One of the things you wouldn't have seen in this video is that I would have had to log in, put in my password, and join the car's Android system to my Google account. Once you've done that, this, this becomes like a tablet. And you could, um, in theory, search for an app, app, for example, like Waze. And you basically can tell it to install from the App Store now. You sign in, and you can basically remotely install to your car. Now... If that works or not, I am not 100% sure. I tried I tried to do it before, but I don't, you know, I don't, couldn't get it to fully work. Probably, there's always, there's a reason why, it's always because it's a bit gimmicky. You have to figure out, um, you have to figure out all, like, the ins and outs of how to work around the, the standard Android system where it was originally designed to block this type of activity. But my main apps are like YouTube Teams, my home security system, gate automation, so I can open and close gates from the app, and just work-related things. So I'll end up with a whole, whole heap of apps in here. Some apps will natively work, so if you install it like I was showing you before by the ADB install um, app name. And to download your apps, you just have to um, go online and kind of search for... Um, uh, like APK, so APK download. You probably like APK Pure, for example. You know, YouTube. Download APK file, and then you'll be able to download the file, and then push that file you've downloaded to your to your car. There's plenty of apps. Um, if you do get a file that's XAPK or something like that, you have to get you have to use a, another program to extract the file. So you get the APK. Plenty of videos online for that. I don't need to make that. 
Um, the hardest part really is for you guys is it, how do you turn on um, wireless ADB. So, you know, it's very simple. This is working on 56.1.2.24.11.28.0.1, um, which is also apparently version 1.00 for the Shark. It's the release version. Works. You just spam the factory reset button. Just make sure you're in portrait mode. And as soon as you hit that, when it says ADB debugging's off, it's off, it's on. Now, don't be confused. This does say turn on ADB debugging, turn off ADB debugging. The English is broken. When it says turn off, it's off. When it says it's turned on, turn on, it's on. So technically it's on, but it's one or the other. So as long as you have it on, um, and then you have your... Yeah, see, now I've glitched it. <laughs> It's very, it's very buggy, this stuff. As long as it's on, like that, um, and then you have your wireless IP address, which this one is 10.10.10.103 for me, which is my home local IP. That's the IP you need, basically, to ADB connect. Um, just repeating myself here, because for some reason, this seems to get lost in people in the other video I remember having people saying that I couldn't work it out but yeah and it'll say it'll say you're now connected to this instead of already connected it's only saying it's already connected because I've already been playing around with this this morning and then yeah ADB install whatever APK files you get so you know YouTube Gbox um, you might get you might get weird errors like um, this app requires some other app to run just find the APK install the app and that'll solve your, any errors. But other than that, guys, that, that's the way to get um, YouTube working on here. Uh, and any other really Android app. I didn't have, I haven't had much time this weekend to test all the ins and outs of this, other than the fact that I know that this works uh, for YouTube. So I'll leave that to you guys to figure out. There is a little bit more information in my C-Line 6 video, side-loading video. Which they're yeah like very similar. It's like just ignore all the software updating and down, uh, upgrading and downgrading in my C Line Six video and just start the video from where I talk about using ADB to install apps once you're connected on the Shark and it's pretty much the same guys. Um, G Box, YouTube, Waze, all the other apps you might want to use. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, do appreciate if you guys hit the like button and uh, check out my other Shark content. And also check out this video in the, um, in, in the end here now where I'm curious to see what you guys want to know about the Shark 6 because I'm happy to go do these tests. So stay tuned and uh, I'll see you in the next video.